what's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here and wow, talk about a presentation. In this video, we're going to be going over a quick breakdown of everything we heard and learned from today's panel at PAX and later on this evening, I'll be doing a breakdown of the gameplay. First up, Fort Tarsus is apparently 500 years old, which also places the legend of Helena Tarsus and her Legion of Dawn around that same time. We learned a little more as far as what it means to be a cipher. Thanks to the mystical and unknown powers of the Anthem of Creation, some people are gifted with telepathic and telecommunicaic powers such as the ciphers. Essentially, they have to learn to use these powers and they have to go through schooling and training. Think of Owen as someone who went to Cypher Community College and Bay as one who went to Harvard. There is a device on your strider known as an amplifier chair that allows them to help navigate you and communicate with you over great distances. We got a little more information on Halleck, but nothing new I haven't already covered. I'll leave a link above with a previous lore video I did on Halleck. Essentially, he's a legend in the freelancer world and serves as your mentor, however he has no desire to be your teacher. There are puddles in Anthem, which may or may not hint at the new ray tracing technology being an Anthem, but who knows. Agents are not a faction, they're merely a person who gives you a mission. They could be a sentinel, or a member of the Arcanist Order, etc, etc. However, we did learn about a new faction known as the Corvus who serve as a shadowy CIA type group. Yaro is an old freelancer who remembers a time when the freelancers were at the top of their game and had a strong reputation. He has allied himself with you to restore the freelancers to their former glory. We learned a little bit more about the Arcanists who are essentially research scientists and we met one during the panel whose name is Matthias. Bryn is another agent you will meet at Fort Tarsus. She's like a mid-rank sentinel who is rather awkward and quirky but will give you missions from time to time. The team is confirmed that there is no paid DLC, and they can just release story, character, or any type of updates to the game whenever they please, which is absolutely epic. We also learned a little bit more about the Sentinels, and we found out they looked down on the Freelancers, which is kind of a surprise, however we figured as much a little while ago. As far as the enemy factions go, we didn't learn too terribly much about them, which was kind of disappointing, but from what we understand now, the Scars are apparently created by Chaos, and they are weird insect mimics. The Outlaws are a group group of bandits who live outside of Fort Tarsus who act as, well, smugglers and bandits and robbers and you get the picture. Lastly, the Anthem demo will release on February 1st, however, there is a potential for alphas and betas before then, so don't get too discouraged. But that's about it for this quick video. I just wanted to get this out there to you all as fast as possible before I start breaking down the new footage that you see on your screen. I hope you all enjoyed PAX and at least got something out of it. I'll be back in a bit with a new video, but until then freelancers, stay positive and stay classy and keep the conversation rolling. I'll catch you all in a bit. Peace out everyone. Thank you.